Okay guys, so welcome to the second part of the video and in this video, as I said, uh, we'll fix few stuff and we will improve our uh, object pooling system because the previous one only supports uh, one type of actor and uh, in this one we will make it generic. Right, so I have this pool subsystem on and we will change few stuff. We have one object pool right now and we want to change it to multiple object pools. But in order to do that, we need to store the TRA in a TMAP. And uh, Unreal doesn't allow you to store TRA in TMAP unless uh, when it's marked with few property. So we need to like go around it. So to do it, we need to create Ustruct first. So we will write Ustruct. Uh, we will call it F pool array. Uh, and it will have only one field. It will have the TRA of A actors pointers. And we will call it object pool, basically. Uh, so yeah, so that's that's the only thing that we need. Uh, Ryder is something, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Ryder told me that we need to mark a new property so it won't be garbage collected. Uh, and it was the only reason why we made uh, this use track. So right now when we have it, we can change this to tmap and we will have our key to be u class. So we will store different ty type of classes. So it can be, you know, projectile, it can be enemy character and many others. Uh, for the value, we will store this f pool array. So right now each of the class will have their own pool array and we will call it object pools. That's it. Okay. So next thing we need to create is the templated function uh, of this function of spawn from pool because we want to spawn different uh, type of uh, things. So to do that, we need to type template. Here we type type name T, which will, will be our templated uh, type. We want to return t pointer. We will call it spawn from pool, so it will be the same. We will take in the same parameters, so you can just copy, paste it here, and we can generate definition. And uh, for templated functions, the definitions they need to be in the header file. They can't be in the CPP file. So that's better for us because we can write it here. I don't need to change the the file or I actually do because we will copy the the CPP file from the other uh, function. So go to the CPP file, just copy everything that is here, uh, cut it actually and just paste it here. So now we have this function and we will modify it. All right. So here we have a actor right now that we return at the end. We don't want it to be a actor. We want it to be T type. So we don't know what we return. We will return T. Uh, we need to check the same condition. We need to check if the class implements the interface. And the reason why it's red because we didn't uh, include the header. So if you go up, you need to include the pullable here. So it won't be red again. And right now, when we go inside here, you can see that we have object pool. Right now we don't have object pool. We have object pools. So we need to get the correct object pool. And in order to do that, we will store it in a um, temporary variable. It will be f type of f pool array. So it's the value type here. We will store it by reference. So we want copy um, whole pool and we will call it object pool. And to find it, we need to access our object pools. We need to access the function find or add. And we will pass in our class to spawn. So we'll, it will be all class that we want to spawn. And right now we have the object pool. So it's almost the same. We don't, we can't check uh, it's empty because there's no function like that. We need to access object pool. Uh, and we can access object pool again because this is the actual array here. You can actually have functions here if you want. We can have a function called is empty and we'll return bool so 
So we will just return object pool is empty like this and it can be const. All right, so we have this function and now we can use it. So if you go down here, we don't need to access this too. You can just access is empty. Uh, and then we have almost the same. We want to spawn actor and we want to pass the T type as the actor because we don't want to spawn the actor and it will convert it uh, to this variable. And in the else statement, we need to use the pop, but we need, we need to cast it. We also need to access object pool here again. We can make this function pop called pop. It will return uh, a actor. We will call it pop. And it will just do object pool that pop return. And that's it. So now we have this pop. We don't need to access object pool function. Here we'll cast it to our variable because pop returns a actor. We want to cast it to our t value. Paste it here. We have pulled actor and then we just set the actor location and the rotation, which is the same. And then we execute on spawn from pool and at the end we return pulled actor. So yeah, that's our templated function. Uh, and that's it. That's it actually. After that, we need to go to CPP file and you can see that return to pool is red because we don't know what object pool we are returning our pullable object to. So we need to find that. So first we need to get U class and we will call it pullable class and we will can get it from this pullable get class function. So we will just cut it and get it here. Uh, we can make our, our pullable class constant and then we just pass pullable class here. So it will check if it implements the interface like the previous example uh, in the previous video. Uh, and right now, thanks to that, that we have the U class, we can find our pool array. So it will be pointer of, uh, to pool array. We will call it object pool. And we will get it from object pools that find function and we pass in pullable class. And this will return our uh, pool array and as you can see, we need to add it and we need to access it by accessing object pool, actual variable, because it's call, called the same as this one. So we can also go back to header and change it again. And we can add another function. So you call it add, it will be void add. It will take in a actor. And we will just access object pool that add function and we will just pass in our actor actor to add. And let's see. Right now we can get rid of this and it should be fine. Yeah. And that's actually it to fix this issue. Yeah, it's the same. So right now we have this function templated function, uh, which we can call from C++. So it will work just like the spawn actor from Unreal Engine. But in order to use it in the blueprints, we need to have separate function that will be exposed to blueprints and it will call this function. So we will need to modify this function a little bit uh, to work. So let's change the return time, uh, return type to void because uh, we will return it in a different way. We will return it as an out parameter. So here it will be our last parameter. It will be called a actor uh, and it will be a pointer reference to a actor. So we'll call it mount actor. And we need to add few modifications to the new function meta here. We'll write meta and we will write determine output type. I will explain it in a second. I'll just type it first. Pool class. And 
dynamic output param. Alright, so I have this weird meta here and uh, basically what it does, it just checks the type that we pass here. So it will check what's the type of this. Is it a projectile? Is it an enemy? And then when we return it, it will cast the spawn actor to, to that type. So this first one just determines the type. The name has to match uh, the name of the argument. And the second uh, part, dynamic output param, it will cast this A actor to that type. So the name has to be the same as the argument again. So we can get rid of this one, go back to the header, redefine the definition. And right now we can just call the templated function. So we can just write, uh, we can assign our spawn actor to the call of this templated function. So we can call spawn from pool and we will pass in the same parameters, pool class, location, rotation, and oh yeah, we need to define in the brackets, we need to type a actor. So it will spawn a actor, but then this function will cast it. So don't worry. So that should be it. We should be now able to spawn anything that we want. And there should be multiple uh, object pools. So if I press compile, it should work. Let's wait. All right, so my editor opened and let's see if it works. So first I will show you guys what I meant by this determined uh, output, output class. So we will just open our player character. We have this uh, spawn from pool function and we didn't have this function actually. So we have the projectile pulled and you can see that if I go to this projectile and I create some function, it can be custom event at custom event. We can call it uh, projectile initialize. So they put a projectile initialize and we can just print some string. We can call it uh, initialize projectile. It doesn't matter actually. And if we go back to the uh, character, you can see that when we pass in the P, uh, BP projectile pulled, the output of the spawn actor will be that blueprint. So we can access the function called projectile initialize. We wouldn't be able to do that if we just pound our, uh, if we just use the normal on from pull function. So without those meta, we don't have ability to cast it. And right now we should be able to spawn multiple different types. So we can have BP projectile. Let's let me copy that. I'll just call it BP sphere pulled. And I'll just open that and I'll change the cube to sphere. So yes, let's just delete it on component hit. So right now go to player. We have spacebar. Let me use some other key. Enter. Keyboard enter. Keyboard enter will just spawn our sphere. So just copy that on the pressed. Change it to our BP sphere. Hold. And we need to delete projectile initialize because not in our sphere. So right now when I press enter, it will spawn sphere. And when I press space, it will spawn the cube as usual. So you can see it spawns and we can have multiple of them. And if I press enter, we are spawning the sphere. So it works with one system. So yeah, that's, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.